They're overfed, oversexed, and they're over here. The American signal crayfish has taken over. In the 1970s, freshwater crayfish tails were all the rage, but our puny native crayfish were considered too small. So farmers started breeding the fatter and meatier American signal crayfish, big mistake. The Americans took over, and 30 years on, they've invaded 85% of our British rivers, virtually wiping out our native crayfish, and now they're destroying our riverbanks. We've got to fight back. Fight back by eating as many as we can. There are over 250 million American crayfish in our rivers. Mike Robinson owns a pub where they're a bestseller on the menu. He's brought Jack and I to the River Pang in Berkshire to show us how to catch them. I reckon that fish is the best bait. Yeah. Because if you think about it, what do they probably eat the most of is dead fish on the bottom yeah, of the river. All the time, yeah. They're scavengers. Slash them. Yeah. Right? That's irresistible to a crayfish. All we have to do is chuck it in yeah. and uh, tie it to a tree. I mean, it's like the same process of a lobster pot. Exactly. Yeah. It's a perilous game, this. Yeah. You do need to get a license from the environment agency to do this. So but just like the crayfish, they're free. So, you've got so this is perfect. It's a natural feeding yeah. ground for the crayfish. Yeah. They're going to come out the bank and they're going to smell that and they'll yeah. come 100 yards upriver to that bait. Go for it. Beautiful. I could catch 20 kilos of crayfish. In here? In here, in one night. When the yep. water temperature yep. drops below 10 degrees, you can forget it. Really? Yeah, they, go, they hibernate, they just go to sleep. So in the winter, where do they go? Under the riverbanks. Okay. And that's when they cause all the damage, because they burrow deep to get away from the cold, and yep. they just curl up and hang out. Oh, Jack, look. Is there a fish? No, there's a crayfish down there. Where? Look, just there. Here's a huge no, crayfish. Here you go, here you go, here you go. Oh, look at that, the size of him. I mean, it's like a lobster. That's a, that, that is size a monster. That's Honestly, that, I mean, that's incredible. Just look at that there, though, in terms of meat. I know. Uh, how much claw meat's in there? It's unbelievable. Really? You're gonna look after him, Jack. You're gonna keep your eye on it. That's your okay. first crayfish. OK, let's go. You keep your eye on that one, eh? Crayfish are night feeders, so you leave the traps out overnight. We're collecting traps that Mike put down yesterday. If you were a prawn trapper in the sea, yeah. you'd be delighted to get yeah. that. Whoa. That's one night. Whoa. Look at them. What would a native you know, crayfish well, look like? I mean, same colour? No, they're, no. they're sort of pale, paler, whiter in colour. Yeah. That's, an, that's an adult native would be that size. Whereas these guys, five to six inches long, yeah. ow! If people ate them more and more, then yeah. it would help the yeah. environment. And it would... Yeah. Hell, where can you go and get 20 kilos of free prawns? Yeah. If you don't want to catch your own, you can order American freshwater crayfish from your fishmonger. Now it's time to get these critters home and into the pot.